what you can see is we have a very chaotic incident, a very uh, chaotic uh, night in the beach, uh, many different crime scenes. Multiple people shot and two dead in Virginia Beach. The violence unfolded along 20th Street at the oceanfront and ended with police officers shooting a man to death. 13 News Now has team coverage. We begin with Allie Weatherton live at the scene. Allie, I see officers are still behind you investigating. What's going on? You're right, Dana. They are still here. Caution tape still surrounds this area of 19th and Atlantic Avenue here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. For several hours, police focused their investigation on this area as well as several others. Police are trying to piece together the puzzles of what exactly happened here that left two dead and several others injured. Covered in crime scene tape, the Virginia Beach oceanfront became the scene of several shootings. Many different crime scenes, a lot of work ahead for uh, us tonight. Virginia Beach Police Chief Paul Newdigate calls it a very chaotic night at the beach. Approximately uh, 11 o'clock or shortly after 11 p.m. this night, uh, we had an original crime scene at uh, 20th and uh, Atlantic. Chief Newdigate said eight people were shot. Medics took six victims to Sentara Virginia Beach General. Two other victims drove to the hospital, according to a Sentara Healthcare spokesman. Their injuries range from serious to life threatening. The hospital spokesman also said two more victims went to other local hospitals. While officers were actively working that crime scene, we had additional shots that were fired in the area of 20th and Pacific. Uh, that resulted in an individual being confronted by a uniformed Virginia Beach police officer, uh, resulting in a police intervention shooting. That individual is deceased. Uh, we also have a second uh, deceased individual that uh, was in, not part of the police intervention shooting. We don't believe it was part of the original shooting uh, behind us. Investigators say the suspect is a man and the other person who died is a woman, but didn't go into more details. Chief Newdigate said someone also hit a police officer with a car. Medics took him to the hospital and Newdigate said he's expected to be okay. Right now everything is stable and we'll be doing our due diligence to uh, find the people involved in this and uh, hold them accountable. And Chief Newdigate said several people are in custody right now. If you know anything that can help investigators, contact the crime line. That number is 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. The crews took the shooting victims and the police officer to the hospital for treatment. Allison Basil continues team coverage at Sentara Virginia Beach General Hospital. Yes, it turned into an emotional night for family who rushed to Sentara Virginia Beach General to be with loved ones who were shot at the oceanfront. Many pacing and holding family close as they wait. A Sentara spokesperson tells us eight patients from the shooting were taken to Sentara Virginia Beach General. Two walked in on their own, six came by ambulance. One went to Sentara Princess Anne and one to Norfolk General. They do not know where the officer was taken to. We talked with a man who says his son was one of the victims. He says his son actually called him to tell him he was just shot. The father says he raced to the oceanfront trying to get to his son and find out what happened. He doesn't have a lot of details about his condition, but says he's one of the lucky ones. His son called him before surgery, but he says there are people waiting that don't know how their loved one is doing or if they were even brought to this hospital. We are also hearing a lot of frustration from family members. A woman tells us her brother was shot. She says she doesn't know what happened or how he is, and she's desperate for Virginia Beach police to give her more details. And we Approximately uh, 11 o'clock or shortly after 11 p.m. this night, uh, we had an original crime scene at uh, 20th and uh, Atlantic, in which numerous shots were fired, hit approximately eight victims, uh, give or take, from this location. While officers were actively working that crime scene, we had additional shots that were fired in the area of 20th and Pacific. Uh, that resulted in an individual being confronted by a uniformed Virginia Beach police officer, uh, resulting in a police intervention shooting. That individual is deceased. Uh, we also have a second uh, deceased individual that uh, was in not part of the police intervention shooting. We don't believe it was part of the original shooting uh, behind us. Um, what you can see is we have a very chaotic incident, a very uh, chaotic uh, 
night in the beach, uh, many different crime scenes. Uh, we had an officer that was struck by a car. He has been transported to the hospital. I'm told uh, non-life-threatening injuries. Um, we'll be working this all night. Um, everything we have right now is preliminary. And as soon as we get more information in the morning, we'll sh share that with the media and the community. How many people struck total? Eight? We believe eight. Is that including the officer? The officer no, the, the officer was not shot. So okay. uh, the officer, w we had a police intervention shooting. An individual was shot by an officer. That subject is deceased. Not counting that individual, we believe we have a total at this time, preliminarily, of nine additional shooting victims, one of which is also deceased. So two people are dead, one um, shot in the police involved shooting, one from a separate shooting incident that we're still trying to piece together. So as you can see, uh, many different crime scenes, a lot of work ahead for uh, us tonight, but uh, we appreciate you coming out and getting the information out to the community uh, that right now everything is stable and we'll be doing our due diligence to uh, find the people involved in this and uh, hold them accountable. I was told there were several arrests. Can you confirm that? We have several people that were stopped or in our custody right now. What their involvement in this incident is, we don't know yet. Is state police coming in to investigate the officer involved shooting? Not at this time. Okay. So, but we do have uh, representatives from the Commonwealth Attorney's Office on scene monitoring our investigation. And if we need to change tactics, then we will do so. The officer that was struck by the vehicle is separate from the officer involved in the shooting? That is correct. Is that involving the uh, car down a little ways with the um, colorful? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So I know there's a separate wreck down there. What that ac actual involvement is, I don't know. So How was the officer was the that was hit? Say that. How was the officer? You said uh, right now he is transported, but uh, non-life-threatening yeah. injuries, right. some bumps and scrapes. Was these indoor events or all outside? My understanding is everything was outside. So, okay. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you.